Iga's Fiontek, intense lifestyle biography and ACDC fan? Iga Sviantek is the first Pole and the 28th woman to ever reach the top of the world rankings. She's also the youngest player currently ranked in the top 10 and won her maiden Grand Slam championship at the French Open in October 2020 when she was just 19 years old. But besides from tennis, who's Iga Sviantek? Iga is a professional Polish tennis player. She was born in Warsaw, Poland in 2001 before becoming a professional tennis player. Iga began her career as a swimmer. She made her professional debut three years after briefly competing on the ITF junior circuit in 2013 and won her first three titles when she was only 15 years old. She won the 2018 French Open girls doubles title with Katie McNally and the 2018 Wimbledon girls singles title as a junior. Following her maiden WTA final and fourth round participation at the 2019 French Open, she broke into the top 50 at the age of 18. Iga was the champion at the 2020 French Open and is the first pole to win a Grand Slam singles title. Title win made her the tournament's youngest singles champion since Rafael Nadal in 2005 and the tournament's youngest women's singles champion since 2004. Iga did not drop a set or lose more than five games in any singles match throughout her run to the French Open title in 2020. After winning the Italian Open in May 2021, she broke into the top 10 of the WTA rankings for the first time in her career. Iga reached a career-high ranking of number two on March 21st, 2022, after winning back-to-back -back WTA 1000 titles in Qatar and Indian Wells in 2022. Following the retirement of world number one Ashley Barty, she took over the top spot on April 4th, 2022. She also became the fourth woman to win the Sunrise Double after winning another WTA 1000 championship in Miami. The pole prefers to play all around the court. With a drop shot from the baseline, she was named WTA Fan Favorite Shot of the Year in 2019 and WTA Fan Favorite Singles Player of the Year in 2020. Iga has come a long way to become world number one in female tennis, but let's take a look at how it all started for her as a child. Iga was born on May 31st, 2001 in Warsaw, Poland to Dorota and Tomasz Sviatek. Tomasz, her father, is a former professional rower who competed in the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul in the men's quadruple skulls event while her mother, Dorada, is an orthodontist. Tomats, Iga's father, wanted his daughters, Iga and Agata, to pursue careers as professional athletes. It was his preference that they focus on individual sports rather than team sports to increase their chances of success. Iga's father explained in an interview with Super Express why he wanted his daughters in an individual sport. He said he had always adhered to the principle that practicing sports does not have to interfere in life but can help instead. He claims he wanted Iga and her sister to practice an individual sport so that they could be responsible for their successes and failures and learn to cope with them. Iga, who began her career at Mira Warsaw at the age of 14 before going on to Legia Warsaw, previously revealed that her father was a lifelong tennis lover who wished for her daughters to play the sport professionally one day. In an interview back in 2019, Iga said, My father always liked tennis and he wanted his daughters to play. It was his concept. My older sister was always playing. She's three years my senior and I've always admired her. When I was younger, I used to compete with her and always lost, so it was incredibly motivating for me. Her mother, on the other hand, works as an orthodontist and graduated from the Faculty of Dentistry, Warsaw Medical University. Dorada treats patients with the knowledge and experience she's gained in the course of her practice. She treats the most complicated cases of malocclusion and is an active participant in numerous orthodontics at home and abroad. She's a member of the different scientific societies and the author of many scientific publications. Dorada stays away from the media but always supports her daughter. After her daughter's French Open triumph, she explained in an interview with Super Express that her approach to her daughter's sport has always been, no matter what result you achieve, the most important thing is the style. She also said that she wasn't afraid of the media's interest in her daughter. She recalled in the same interview that there's absolutely nothing wrong with egoism. 
itself. Sport is democratic because it shows how much you can achieve without wild cards and with your own work and determination. Iga works extremely hard when it comes to working out and training. She works out regularly with Masiev Razuchek, who is her physiotherapist. Iga appears to take her health very seriously, both mentally and physically. She also has a personal sports psychologist, Daria Abramovich, who helps her to get better and achieve mental stability. And obviously, it has really worked for her. Daria said in an interview that her goal is to help Iga be able to identify her own feelings, how to get better on the court and off court. After reaching the final 16 of the BNP Paribas Open at Indian Wells on October 10, 2021, Iga gave $50,000 of her prize money to help World Mental Health Day. She revealed after saying, I would say that in athletics, it was always vital for me to employ that kind of help because I always thought that there was some strength in my mental toughness that I could use on the court and improve in that fashion. Iga acknowledged after winning Roland Garros in 2020 that she had benefited from her sports psychologist, Daria. Simply beneficial to maintain an open mind. If you require such assistance, go for it. If you're willing to put in the effort and are open-minded, I believe it'll benefit you much, Iga explained. When Iga isn't setting records or winning on the tennis court, she's winning in other areas of her life. Since becoming famous, the Polish star has had a few endorsements since the beginning of 2020, a6 has sponsored Iga for clothes, Nike had previously sponsored her outfits also. She's also a brand ambassador to Red Bull Energy Drink, Xiaomi, the Chinese tech behemoth, and the Lexus division of the Toyota automaker company. Iga inked a rocket endorsement deal with Technofiber in 2021. She previously used a Prince Tectotrim 100 tour racket, but was not under contract with the manufacturer. Her father also confirmed that she had also signed a contract with Rolex in 2021. Since February 2021, her main partner has been PZU, public traded insurance company in Poland. Iga spends her free time reading books and listening to music, although she has confessed before that she has a huge passion for music. I read books and listen to music in my spare time, she explained. Music is a huge part of my life, and I have music for any mood, but my favorite is rock. The former Roland Garros champion revealed her delight to be in Australia, which is home to one of her favorite bands, ACDC, in a post-match interview. When asked about the city's vibrant music scene, the poll expressed that she wants to attend a few performances by the band once the pandemic was over. According to her, her favorite ACDC song is Thunderstruck. Iga has made no secret of her love for classic rock music. She stated she prepares for matches by listening to Thunderstruck by ACDC. She's also a huge fan of Pink Floyd. When asked about her choice of music in an interview, she said, When I'm in the mood for pop, I like ABBA. I also like Coldplay, Florence and the Machine, and Santana. And if I want something more aggressive, ACDC gets me in the mood. I've been listening to Thunderstruck before the matches. Iga adores cats and has a black female cat named Grappa whom she claims she enjoys spending time with. She's also a fan of TV series, and her favorite series is Mad Men. Aside from binge-watching television drama, she likes to read books as well. She once stated that she enjoys reading historical novels and also enjoys crime thrillers. According to her, one of her favorite authors is Dan Brown. The current world number one has quite a lot going on outside the court, but that's not stopping her from dominating women's tennis. One thing the fans are still expecting is to know who her boyfriend is. Is she seen anyone? Is she single? Only time will tell. Do you think Iga's athlete father figure helped her shape her career? Comment below.